With the daring heist that's left these restaurant owners boiling with rage after money-hungry thieves took off with $30,000 worth of freshly made gnocchi. It's a crime you truly have to see to believe. When you heard the gnocchi, you heard us. The gnocchi tragedy, this is how it happened. This is how it happened, sad, sad times. It was a simple nighttime delivery, now the scene of a potato crime. The gnocchi heist is, is the, it's a gnocchi tragedy. We lost a lot of gnocchi. It was just after midnight on Sunday when Gnocchi Gnocchi Brothers received their regular precious delivery of potato goodness. He took the trolley, he came inside, he did one, came back to the, came back to the truck, take another one, and then when he came back for the third time, he was, he was standing and he was like, where, where is the truck? The store manager, Gerardo Armador, says driver Gustavo had unloaded like always from his gnocchi mobile right out the front, unaware of danger lurking nearby. He was like very scared and uh, poor Gustavo, I just like he was running, running around South Bank and trying to find it. The truck had vanished, along with tens of thousands of dollars worth of plump, pillowy potatoes. $30,000 um, worth of um, lost revenue, that's what we had. So there was around uh, 340 kilos of gnocchi there, so which it's nearly like 2,000, 2000 meals. It could be the biggest potato heist in Australian history. So Gerardo, this is the scene of the gnocchi crime, isn't it? This is the scene. So he literally took the fluffy pillows of joy, put it in the trolley, went there inside. It's, it's just a few Meters, meters yeah. walk, you know? And when he came back again, the, the, the truck had just vanished and there was no more, no more truck, no more gnocchi, yeah. The small business was founded by two best friends. It now makes its gnocchi off-site and has it delivered fresh at night to avoid traffic. We have the central kitchen, which is the gnocchi love factory. We, we call it like that. And um, yeah, so every that, that factory is just up and running every day. Now the gnocchi love factory is working overtime to make up for the potato pasta bandits. The team at Gnocchi Gnocchi Brothers took to social media to ask for help to track down the spuds that stole the truck. And I was like, no way, like poor, poor gnocchi, like we needed that, like uh, there's a lot of, uh, yeah, you know, like there's a lot of, a lot of gnocchi in that truck. The truck, I was not really concerned about the truck because, you know, you claim insurance and that's it. But um, yeah, I was, I was just shocked. Today, police found the missing truck towing it to this holding yard. It and its cargo allegedly burnt out. That's the wrong way to cook gnocchi, if you ask Gerardo. There is a proper way to treat our gnocchi. It's like, you know, it's like gold. You have to boil it properly. You have to treat it with love so it tastes good, not just, just burn it. The biggest insult, not the theft of the truck, but the gnocchi itself, which Gerardo says they pour their heart and soul into. It's like a little nuggets of gold, you know? Everyone wants the, the gnocchi, now they're trying to steal it. So, yeah, we don't have to put a 20, 24 hour security guy there just looking after the gnocchi. The heist was captured on private CCTV with police now on the hunt for those involved. But Gerardo says they're a forgiving bunch and if the pasta bandits want an honest job, they need only apply with it. They can be our delivery truck drivers. They were good. They were good driving. They, they just vanished in two seconds. So. And word on the street is the drivers of the Napolitana sauce trucks in Brisbane are decidedly nervous tonight.